Tennis superstar Novak Djokovic is officially out of the US Open. Novak Djokovic has come out and he has announced that he will not be playing the US Open. Sasha Zverev has withdrawn from this year's US Open. Serena Williams, she is announcing her retirement from tennis after the US Open, obviously her home tournament. I think that her legacy is really wide to the point where you can't even describe it in words. I think I'm a product of what she's done. I wouldn't be here without um, Serena Venus. I'm like very thankful to her. A lot of other players in the field you know, have the belief, like, I can do that too. I think what we achieve shows that, you know, anything can happen, really. It's time! First thing I did when I got home from work is I changed to the Rafa hat, the Rafa top. Emma Raducanu. And she's just beaten Serena Williams and Azarenka. This is the biggest talking point. Nick Kyrgios on the same section as Daniel Medvedev. Who do you think is going to win the US Open this year? He answered Carlos Alcaraz. I mean, this is still the young guns. Rafa has got a nice draw. I'm a massive Layla fan. Garcia is incredible. I put a bet on Garcia to win the US Open. Rafael Nadal is going to win the US Open this year. Rafael Nadal comes back from the depths yet again. We've both gone for the same guy. I've got Linda, you've got Linda. It's Serena Williams! One of the biggest matches in US Open history, JG! Let's be honest, she's the greatest of all time. It's into the net! Serena takes the first set! Come on! She's got it! Yes! Come on! Serena Williams will play another singles match. She blew me away. I was surprised. The greatest of all time. Yeah. Turned off. Nadal has to be considered a favorite. Rafa for 23. Let's go, Ben. Come on. Hey, good afternoon, tennis fans. After a dramatic evening with Serena Williams' retirement from tennis, now we're going to start with the women's again. And we've got two Grand Slam champions. What better way? to start the next day and it is Garbinia Muguruza versus Petra Kvitova. This one promises to be a uh, quite an entertaining one I think and we've just had the first game scoreboard already causing a few problems but it is one love to Petra Kvitova. If you're just joining us we got tennis in saying Muguruza has a terrible record against Kvitova. Petra will win and she has been looking good recently. Uh, Petra Kvitova. Can't really say the same for Muguruza, but she still made her way through this tournament somehow. Not sure how she's been doing it, but she hasn't had the toughest. She's just had youngsters so far. She's gone from youngsters to now a wily veteran in Petra Kvitova. She had Clara Towson, then she had Linda Fruvitova, and now she has Kvitova. And Kvitova's path she didn't even have to play the last match Kalanina withdrew uh, and she did knock out Andreeva in the first round Andreeva being the Russian who well defeated my one of my qualifiers to watch rack him over in the final round of qualifying but rack him over got through and a lucky loser ended up playing Caroline Garcia and we know that that's just the worst draw right if there's anyone is there anybody out there? If there is, give me a prediction in the live chat. Sam K is out there saying, hey, Ben, what's up? Yeah, good to have you in, bud. Let us know your prediction at least. And if you're one of these uh, people that are watching at the moment, come on, hit the like button. Subscribe to Game to Love if you are new to the channel because we're trying to hit the big 5 0 50 k Oh, just misses with the first serve, Muglutsa. Scoreboard a bit behind. Not sure what's going on with it today. Maybe it's just having a... Well, it got a bit overrun last night by the Serena match. It's 30 love, Muglutsa, anyway. And it's long from Kvitova. Not really many people in the stands for this one. Sam going with Kvitova in straight sets. She's had a good year. Finals in Cincy. Yep. Can't rule her out. 
I was surprised uh, with her first round match, to be honest. She played Angeleva. Wasn't plain sailing. The first set, she was down a break and had to come back. So, and there you go. Mugalutsa does hold, and it is a hold to love. Interesting start to the match. <laughs> I think I'll go with a prediction. I think Kvitova will win. Um, I think it'll probably be in three, though. I don't think it's going to be straight sets. Good serve there from Kvitova. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Good ace there from Kvitova. Not sure what the scoreboard's doing today. It's well behind. It is one all 15 love. Oh, maybe it's a sign. It's going to be one of those days at the US Open. It's maybe the guy in charge of the scoreboard so devastated about Serena losing. He's forgotten to, uh, to update it. But there you go. It's gradually getting there. Oh, it went backwards a bit there. Forehand from Kvitova, miss hit Shank from Mugalutsa. Where's my Shank button? Hmm. Yeah. Right, thirty love. Both players serving quite well so far. Nope, there you go. 40 love. Making it look easy right now. Yeah, nice backhand inside out. Fired into the bottom corner. 40 love. Kovitova. Oh, nearly an ace. Just missed. We've got Naffy in saying, will Cornet go to three sets tonight? Let's have a look. Let's have a look at who she's playing. It's the last match on, isn't it? So let me have a quick check. It's Corne Collins. <clears throat> That's a tough one. Mm, they played each other at the Australian Open. Collins beat her in straight sets. Yeah, I'd be more inclined to say Collins does defeat. I think she has the game just to, to wipe her off the court. I'd probably go with Collins in straight sets. We've got Lexi in. How are you doing, Lexi? Saying, come on, Petra. Yeah, I think I'm cheering on Petra as well today. Tennis Cent, always been a huge fan of Petra. Incredible player. Sh should have maybe won more in her career. But still time. Maybe she can get this US Open. That's a possibility. Maybe. Maybe not. No Serena anymore. Someone else got to step up to the plate. All right, they change. The changing ends anyway. Right now, they're showing the really nice pink trainers of Kalbinia Mugalutsa. She's dancing around there on the court. Kovitova in slow motion. That slow motion ponytail. <laughs> Surely got to be time. Time. It is indeed. Back out onto the court they come. And it will be Mugalutsa on serve on the Louis Armstrong Stadium. Lexi saying, wow, you're streaming Rublev. Yes. Yeah, that will be Harman covering Rublev Chapeau. That's just long from Kvitova. Really got going this match. Sam saying, I want Goff to win this US Open as a tribute for Serena. That would be cool. Would be. I think she's got a real good chance of doing it as well. Wouldn't it be fitting? All right, if you're just joining anyway, please remember to hit the like button. It really will help us get found by other YouTubers out there. Well, not YouTubers, but YouTube viewers out there. 
Let's try and get this up to 50 likes as soon as possible. Got some other matches going on today. Let's just have a look at some of the ones going across all of the courts. There's only other one other match. David's covering that at the moment. That's Nori versus Rune. I think Nori should get that done. Ace from Mugalutsa down the tee. 40 love. Yeah, tennis is saying. Would love Coco to win. She was amazing against Keys. She really was. Didn't expect her to blitz her so easily. Lexi saying, how are you, Ben? Did you rest well? Yes. I Well, I don't know what time we went to bed in the end. It was probably like close to 4 a.m., but I was I slept until about 11, which is not too bad. And feel much better rested than I did for the rest of the week. The rest of the week was tough, like four hours maybe each night. But it's a grand slam. We know what it's well, we know what has to be done. More sirens outside, as always. Wouldn't be a weekend without it. Right. How many likes are we up to on the video? I know the last one last night we got up to eight hundred likes on the Serena uh, video. So thanks everybody who liked that one. Go check out uh, our news clip. Unfortunately. YouTube seemed to not send out notifications for all of our videos. And all it does just means you don't get to see this amazing tribute to Serena Williams that we that we posted earlier on. So go check this one out, please. Share it with all your tennis friends. Sam saying, waking up at midnight is the hardest part during slams. Yeah. <clears throat> well, if you don't go to bed before midnight, that's even more tough. Mathan saying, I've always been a big fan of Garbina, so I want her to win. Nice forehand there from Kvitova, sort of flying through these service games. Carol saying, Ben, how come you're not covering the Nori match? Well, David really wanted it, so I, I allowed David to go over and cover Cam Nori. Thought this one, two previous Grand Slam champions. Don't mind covering this one. Wish there was a bit more atmosphere in the in the stadium, though. A little bit poor, if I have to say, considering the level of uh, player on court. Good. Good serve there from uh, Kvitova. Mugalutsa has got a running around. Good smash from Mugalutsa at the net. Smashes it into the corner. Thought I'd have a beer. Why not? It's four in the afternoon. Nothing wrong with that, is there? No, of course there isn't. Right. Kvitova, 40-15. We're only 13 minutes in. We're nearly halfway through the first set. <clears throat> Looped up. Kvitova, big forehand winner. Too easy from Petula Kvitova. And I'll give her a little button for that one. Why not? Yes, it's her. Yes, it's her. Yes, it's her. Yes, it's her. Yes, it's a Kvitova. Yes, it's a, yes, it's a, yes, it's a Kvitova. We got Mathan saying Kvitova only lost two points on her serve and Mugalitsa zero. So we might look at a tie break if they keep winning each, other, each other's serves or keep winning their own serves. Someone, something's got a crack at some point. Business end, normally it does. Have to wait and see. All right, well, I'd say the crowd, I'd say the stand, uh, Louis Armstrong is about, I wouldn't even say a quarter full. It's not, it's not met that many people there. Jeans in. How you doing, Gene? Saying so rooting for Petra today. 
Carol saying, okay, I'll click the like button and head on over to David. Yeah, if that's the match that you want to uh, listen to or be, uh, well, have the watch along for, then feel free to move over to the other one. This one, just for the women's. And it is Mugulutsa to be serving. 3 2. Oh, she's messed up the ball toss now. There we go. Second attempt. Ah, she missed, missed it anyway. Just long on the first serve. Second serve. It's in. It's a good one. And it's fired into the net from Kvitova. I haven't seen many long rallies in this match at all. Gene I don't know how this head-to-head -head is so one-sided. I know. It's a bit strange, isn't it? I, it's only, I feel that Mugolita really needs this victory, but rooting for Petra. What's your prediction for this one, Gene? Interested to know. My one, I've gone Kovitova in three. I think uh, Garbinia's good for a set, for sure, but Kovitova's form in recent weeks has been pretty good. She looks like... She, I mean, she's Plus, she's well-rested. She didn't play the last round. <clears throat> yeah, Jean saying, still tired from yesterday. So many emotions. Lex saying, yes, Ben, just finished that clip of JG about Serena. Oh, we're going to miss her for sure. Yes, we will. Yeah, please whack a like on that video and leave a comment as well. Appreciate you leaving that comment, Lexi. means a lot. Jean going petrol in three as well. I wouldn't be surprised if there's people going Petra in two for this one. Yeah, she's really struggling with the ball toss. I think it's the sun. Yeah, I mean, we saw yesterday there was a lot of problems with the, uh, the ball toss. That one's in. No, oh, lovely winner from Kvitova off the second serve. Just directed it into the corner. Mathan saying Mugulutsa sort of deserves to win this because it's time. Uh, I think it's time to finally do good this year. Her US Open record uh, is round of 16, so I hope she can break it this year. Well, she's not got. Wow, there's another amazing winner from Kvitova. She's starting to open up now, and you're starting to see now a break point opportunity. Uh, she didn't have to do too much, just literally opened her body and. That's with the shot she's been hitting cleanly over the past few weeks. The inside-out forehand winner from the lefty. Serves out wide. Blocks back in play. Goes back to the Kvitova backhand. And now Kvitova can open up her forehand. She goes inside-out forehand again. It gets Mugalutsa rushing around the baseline. Forehand. Great angle. Big raw Kvitova. Yes, it's a... Yes, it's a Kvitova. Yes, it's a Yes, it's a Yes, it's a Kvitova. Mugulutsa is broken and it is Petra Kvitova. 4-2 up, looking to go 5-2 up in this one. Let's wait and see how she gets on with her serve. Quite interested to know how tall Kvitova is, to be honest. Look rather tall. 1 meter 82. Doesn't mean much to me. You need 6 foot. Okay. It's long for Mugulutsa on the return. Yeah, Kvitova's best ever U.S. Open came in 2017 and 2015 where she made the quarterfinals. She's made the final of the Australian Open once in 2019 and obviously won Wimbledon twice. Just misses with the first serve.
Albinia Muguruza, the Spanish a Venezuelan tennis player. And fourth round is the best she's done. And that was last year and in 2017. Final of the Australian Open as well. But her two slams have come at the French and at Wimbledon. Lexi singing the Kvitova button. Yes, it's a, yes, it's a, Kvitova. Jean Tan on maybe the firepower. Too much to handle for Muglutsu in this head-to-head. -head. Yes, she's definitely got a lot of firepower, Kvitova. Power hitter. Maybe that could have been the button. Power hitter, Kvitova. Sort of nearly rhymes. We have big matches coming up later this evening. This will be the only one I'll be covering during the day. Uh, and then myself and JG will be covering Iga Sviantek and Rafael Nadal. They will be playing at the same time, unfortunately, for you guys. So you're going to have to make a choice. It's just going to be myself and JG covering those matches. Should be entertaining, though. Looking forward to uh, Sviantek playing Lauren Davies. And we have uh, Rafael Nadal versus Richard Gasquet. Really one-sided head-to-head. Never seen such a one-sided head-to-head. 17 and 0. It's like a boxing record of one of the top boxers, isn't it? Right, break point Mugalutsa to break straight back. We've got LA saying Kavita's won the last four matches versus Mugalutsa. Kavita wins in two sets. Fault on the first serve. Christian saying only Sharapova can outplay Kavita apart from the Williams sisters. Interesting. So it's double fault from Kavita. Didn't think that was going to come, and it's the break straight back. Didn't even have to do that much there, did she, Garbinia? No one can shock her, can stop her, Garbinia Muguruza. Inside her, a fire, Garbinia Muguruza. There she is, Galbinia Mugalusa. No one can stop her. The US Open, not one of her best, and <clears throat> not one of her best tournaments. In fact, her worst Grand Slam. Uh, in doubles, made the third round, 2014. Just see how Kvitova's done in the doubles. Nah, nothing really. Not really a doubles player. She only ever got to, yeah, she's only ever been in the first round. <laughs> yeah, nah, but let's let's not look at that. <laughs> Just because it's not going to make her look very good. Highest ranking ever for Kvitova, number two back in 2011. And Galbinia Muguruza, number one back in 2017. Yes, she won Wimbledon. Good serve from Muguruza. Blocked back into play. Forehand into the net from Kvitova. We've got Longinus saying uh, Kvitova for the win. Lexi saying, oh, no, I can't sing that button, Ben. Why? No one can stop her. I can't even remember the lyrics. No one can shock her. I think it was. Can shock her, can stop her, Garbinia Muguruza. Ooh, a good chop here from Muguruza, and it's into the net from Kuvitova. We're going to be entering the business end coming very, very soon. All right, 30 love. 
Let's go over and have a quick look at Cam Norrie. Oh, he's up a break. That's a surprise. I feel like that's going to be quite an easy match for him. It's into the net from Kvitova again. It's 40 love. One point away from the business end of the first set. Muguruza into the net. Second serve. Second serve's in. Good return from Kvitova. Forehand cross court. Now goes drop shot. Muguruza can't get to it. Good drop shot from Kvitova. And it is 40-15. 40-15. Got uh, Jesus Tinajero Orlosco saying, thank you for streaming your tennis channel on YouTube. You're welcome, Jesus. Thank you for joining. Make sure to whack a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't yet. Got Todd in saying good morning and everyone from the California coast. Good serve from Magalutza. Nice forehand. He's a great winner. She consolidates the break, and it is business end time. <laughs> Cha-ching, business end. Four games all. This one, the break didn't last long for Kovitova. She went 4-2 up, back to 4-4. Now we're going to see whose turn it is to break. Cheers for Mathan saying I liked and subscribed. Appreciate that, bud. Share it with all your friends. Come on, get them all in. That's what we want. How many likes are we on? 44, not bad. Let's try and get that up to 56 to go. If you haven't hit the like button yet, come on. I'm thinking of doing some new buttons for the like buttons. Might try and get on and work on some stuff like that. It's the third double fault there from Petra Kovitova. Started well, but uh, fallen off a bit. Jesus saying, favorite match yesterday and today? Well, definitely Serena's match yesterday. It was incredible. And today, my favorite match, I don't know yet, but looking at the... Looking at the matches that are going down the list, I think Brooksby Alcalaz is a really good one. And potentially Nakashima Sinner, maybe. That's quite a competitive one. I think those ones, based upon how competitive they are, look quite interesting. Like Rublev Shapo as well. Could be quite interesting too. Yeah, I'd go with those ones. Right, Kovitova. Not only has she done three double faults, she's also done three aces. It's 15 all. Great serve out wide. And it is a return that has gone wide. Gene saying, I'm looking forward to Shapo versus Rublev for some reason. Well, I think it will go to five sets. Okay. Anybody else got any predictions for Rublev Shapo? I think Rublev could do him, to be honest. I think it might be more convincing than you think. <laughs> it's a little fly now. We've got Math Mathan saying, uh, who's your favorite tennis player, men and women? It's really tough, to be honest. Like, favorite players to watch on the court. I used to be, I'm a very patriotic person, so I always used to enjoy, I wouldn't say even say enjoy watching Andy Murray because it was not enjoyable at the time. I tell you that much, but I did always support Andy Murray. Um, to actually watch how somebody plays the game and watch like a who's the most enjoyable to watch, probably on the on the men's side, probably like someone like a Federer would be the most enjoyable person to watch. And on the women's side, on currently that's playing, hmm. It's a real tough one. Depends what... There's lots of different categories. I mean, eager for just pure out spanking the ball, 
just killing people on the court. I think it's really exciting when you watch somebody who knows how to come back. Uh, like someone like a Fernandez is exciting when they come back from just like a set down and manage to. I like Kim Win Zeng. She's really exciting. She's got a great serve. All good all round game. Trying to think of like the outlier. I mean, it would probably have to be have to be eager, really. I mean, Ons Jabur, but if we're talking about somebody who's actually like a real contender, yeah, I mean, Eager's just, I mean, she's incredible. I think she's going under the radar in this tournament a bit as well. I don't think many people are giving Eager much of a look in. And then before you know it, she'll be in like a quarter final or something. And then people will start going, uh oh. I think if she got to a quarter final, I think it might be Kinwin Zeng if Zeng can keep going through, though, which would be really exciting. Obviously, we have a big matchup on the men's coming up soon. Kyrios Medvedev. Medvedev, the reigning champion. Kyrios recently has defeated him. That's going to be very, very interesting. Kyrgios looking very dialed in. He's got a taste for a Grand Slam final. Wants another one. Probably wants the chance to play Rafa as well, if Rafa can get there. I'm sure he would annoyed that he didn't get the chance to even take on Rafa. Probably believes he could have beaten him. Nice rally here. Forehand to the backhand of Kvitova. Kvitova creates the angle, or she thought about coming in, but Good defensive shot there from Muguruza. She steps in and does finish the ball off there. All right. So, 15.30. Kvitova with an incredible uh, point construction, I'd call that one. Maneuvering her out wide, opening up the court, finishing into the open court. Serve. Good one down the tee. Good drive volley. Kvitova just sticking out a racket. Oh, my word. Muguruza nearly missed the drive volley. I think she hit the line. It was in, though. 30 all. Game of fine margins. I'm just going to show a quick replay of, yeah, I mean, it's right next to the line. She's dicing with death there. Probably a bit closer than she would have liked. Oh, good serve from Muguruza out wide, and it's backhand into the net. Lexi's saying, what is Muguruza's nationality? She's Spanish-Venezuelan. That's what it comes under. Spain first, Venezuelan second. Jane's in Spain at the moment. <laughs> nice backhand return from Kvitova. And forehand. Can she force this one to a juice? Yes, she can. Big roar from Kvitova. And it is juice. Will she strike now? Oh, people spotting themselves on the big screen. That inside out backhand is something to behold. Muguruza we'll serving. Good serve out wide. The drive volley again. Really good. And it is advantage, Muguruza. Yep, Gene, we know the scoreboard's wrong. Don't worry. Don't know what it's doing today. Maybe I'll have to uh, message tennis to let them know. Oh, it's out and we're going 5 all.
Bear with me a second. All right, five games all. Oh, good return there from Muguruza. Oh, it's a wild forehand from Kvitova. She has put it wide. And it is love 15. Is this where Muguruza will strike? we got Jesus saying, I'm going to watch the first UFC fight card in Paris. It will be starting soon. That's amazing. Great to hear that. Um, well, all the best. That's obviously Cyril Garn. He's going to be up against Ty Tuavasa. Really excited to watch that one myself, actually, later. So, hope you really enjoy that, Jesus. And if you get the chance and you want to see us covering some UFC stuff, or then subscribe to our new channel. I'll put the link in the live chat. And if you like football, boxing, UFC, any other sports, just hit that uh, subscribe button. Even if you don't, just get us up to a thousand subscribers. We could really do with the help. And yeah, I mean, we're going to try and get that one going very, very regularly. It's a work in progress. Right, Kovitova serving 15 all. Oh, double fault, Kovitova. Two more likes, <clears throat> excuse me, two more likes until we hit 100. That's a lie. Two more likes until we hit 50. Come on. Let's see if we can get to 100, though. We're only now 51 away. 15.30. Chance here for Garbinia Muguruza. And it looks like Kovitov is sort of handing it to her at the moment. Not sure what she's doing. Cheers, Jesus, for subscribing. Have a great time at the UFC. I'm very jealous. 1540, that's another double fault. That's number five. That's two in a row. And this could be virtual set point now for Galbinia Mugalutha. Good serve down the tee. Nice forehand, Kovitova. Backhand into the net from Mugalutza. Not good enough. All right, 30 40. Mugalutza. One more chance. Just wide. On the serve. Second serve. She gets to have a look at one of these. She's probably hoping for a double fault. She gets it. There you go. Double fault again from Kvitova. That was three in one service game and not good enough. Now Mugluxa will serve for the first serve. <laughs> Michael Walker and saying, what happened to Megan? Who are you? <laughs> remember me, Michael. Remember me. <laughs> I'm here. Where were you for the Serena match? We needed you in there. We got Todd saying, Caroline looked predictably solid versus Bianca. Risk up next. Yeah, I mean, exciting times. If you're a Caroline Garcia fan, um, she's really impressing me. Uh, over the recent weeks, I think she's a super dangerous. And the way that she dispatched uh, Andreescu was impressive. I'm excited to see how she gets on against Risk. I'd say Risk, no disrespect, 
maybe slightly easier than Andreescu and see how well she did against Andreescu. It's scary, scary times. Right. Thanks to Mahan saying, Matan saying, congrats on the 50 likes. Mark saying, I was at the match with my family. My mum and nephew are really big Serena fans. That's amazing. Hope you enjoyed yourself. It looked like an incredible atmosphere, Michael. A really entertaining match. Like it couldn't have uh, been more dramatic, I don't think. Saving all of the match points at the end. Coming back, well, leading in the second set. Then coming back to win the second set. Dramatic. Oh, miss hit there from Kovitova. Has flown wide. Now, number of points in the last 10. 8-2 for Mugalutha. Two points away from this first set. Good serve. Oh, she's messed up the backhand, though. She's flicked it long. Just looking disappointed with that one. Looking a little bit stressed. 30-15. Todd saying, Tomjanovic amazingly composed and a classy post-match interview. Michael saying it was the loudest tennis crowd ever can imagine. Serve is in down the tee. Good return from Kvitova. Forehand cross court. Garbina hits the net and it's 30 all. Surely this one's just destined for a tie break by the looks of it. Neither player wanting to take control. Lexi's home. My betting friends are also in Paris now watching the match live. I think they're excited for the Bam Bam match. Is this UFC? Oh. Lexi's saying, just be right back. Just going to check UFC for a bit. No worries. Don't tell me what's going on. No one tell me the results because I will watch it. I'll try and watch it on catch up. Whenever you say that, people always just send them in. I'll just have to accept it. Right. Nice forehand. Mugalutha gets it in play. Set point anyway. Backhand. Oh, it's landed in. It's into the net from Mugalutza. And it is a deuce. Let's check how Cam Nor is getting on. Ooh, seven for the first set, but facing break point. Sad to see Wu go out last night. Medvedev in straight sets. Wu and the Wolf both going out, and Kyrgios and Medvedev going through to meet each other. Led for serve. Right. First serve again for Mugalutza. Oh, incredible. Great serve. And set point again. The return into the net. Michael saying, ain't that Mateo's ex-girlfriend? Yeah, it is. Oh, just lands in from Mugalutza on the baseline. Kvitova slices into the net. It's poor from Kvitova, and it is the consolidation. <laughs> and the set. No one can shock her, can stop her. Garminia, Mugalutza, inside her. A fire, Mugaruza. 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 Galbinia. Mugaruza. 
Michael saying, what scary if Serena got in shape at 40, she could still be very competitive because she obviously needs to work on her fitness, but it was still able to move her thighs around last night. Yeah, she looks very good. Uh, good movement around the court. Just in that final set, looked like the fitness was just, yeah, just just was lacking, started to become flat-footed, stuck to the court. Whereas in the first two sets, looks really, really good. Maybe she put too much effort into some games that ultimately ended up uh, not being hers, like a 15-minute game that she ends up losing. you got to think that may have played a massive impact on the actual result of the match. So disappointed for Serena, but at the end of the day, I'm not sure if she would have got through the next round anyway. That's my that's my honest opinion. I think Samsonova is looking so good right now. Maybe that was the better way to go out in such dramatic fashion rather than like a straight sets defeat. I don't think anyone would have liked to have seen her just get wiped off the court by someone. Now, who knows? She may have even given Samsonova a real good run for her money. I'm sure she would have still taken quite a few games, but it's all hindsight now. If you are just joining, please remember to whack a like on the video. And if you are just joining as well, why don't you go check out our Serena tribute video and leave a nice comment on there. Just tell us your favorite Serena moments. Uh, we want to hear them. YouTube didn't send out the notifications today. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to just try and tell people ourselves. Uh, pop that in the live chat. Mathan said, did Venus retire too? I don't think she did. I think we'll probably see Venus again. Yeah, Michael said, I want to see Serena get to the semifinals like Jimmy Connors did in 91 when he was 39. Yeah, I wanted her to get there because I wanted her and Coco Goff to both be in the semifinal together. That would have been incredible. Then the passing of the baton. Nice winner from Kvitova down the line. And it is 15 love. We start this second set. Let's check on Cam Norrie. Oh, this looks like he didn't close it out, but he's up a break again. So he's serving yet again for the first set. Next match to kick off will be, on the women's side, will be Yuan versus Pegula. Then we have Martic versus Azarenka, and Nicolette will be covering that one. One of her favorite players, Azarenka, who she did get to see yesterday at the US Open. So, quite an exciting time seeing your favorite players in the flesh. <laughs> Michael saying, when is the posh member of GTL coming to the US Open? Who's the posh member? Is that John Silk? Uh, he's been to the US Open many times. I'm sure he would love to go again, though. All right, 15.30. People fanning themselves in the crowd. Looks like a hot day. Ooh, not so hot here in the UK, though. Mark said, I believe he's coming this week. If he is, sounds good for you. Maybe meet up with him. Todd saying, Tom Yanovich is single, but she won't return my calls. It's a fine line between persistence and stalking. Yes, be careful, Todd. Nice backhand, Mugulutsa. Forehand cross-court winner from Kvitova. Brilliant. Brilliant winner. See if Cam Norris is going to get that one done. Go on, Cam. You can do it. If you can do it, no one can. Can? Can. 
Michael saying it's not hot in the USA. What temperature is it in the US then? I thought it was quite hot. It looks like it was quite hot. First serve is in. And there you go. It is wide. And Kvitova does somehow hold her serve. And she's ahead just for now. One love in the second set. Yes, it's a, yes, it's a, yes, it's a, Kvitova. Yes, it's a, yes, it's a, yes, it's a, Kvitova. Kvitova. Cam Nori takes the first set. Go on, Cam. One thing that is true. He knows what to do. Don't worry if Cam Nari is heading through. If one thing that is true, he knows what to do. Knows what to do. Don't worry, Cam Nari is heading through. Yep, yeah, Nori takes the first set, seven games to five. Forehand to forehand rally. Kvitova hooks her one wide, though. And it is 15 love. 15 love. Whoa, oh my God. Excuse me. I'm a little bit tired today. Apologies for that. We've got CJ, a bigger flexible in, saying, hey, oh, how are you doing, mate? Matt Dan saying it's 26 degrees in New York. Not that bad, is it? 30 love. 30 love. Did we get to 100 likes yet? It'd be good if we could get to 100 likes. It's gonna, I'm not sure how likely it is to get to 100 likes, though. That's the problem. I'll check to see how many we're on. Oh, good forehand from Mugalutha. And then into the open court. 34 likes away from 100. Come on, people. We can do it. If you haven't joined our Discord yet, um, I would advise doing so. Discord, there's many, many GTL members in there who are all talking 24-7 about tennis. So please join our Discord and you'll get notifications for all of our videos, not just the ones that YouTube deem like acceptable just to put out the notifications for Todd saying, does Megan have any matches? Um, believe she has Alcalaz versus Brooksby and maybe Saba later, but that's not confirmed yet. We'll have to wait to see on times, but definitely Alcalaz. Carlos. Carlos. Carlos, Carlos, Carlos. All right, one game all. Carlitos. CJ saying, I'm the only one excited uh, about Sabalenka versus Bruel. Who's that? Oh, Burrell. Gotcha. Game to Love podcast saying, hey, hey, Game to Love podcast, how are you? Oh. 15 love, Petra Kavitovo. JG saying, why are we being censored again? Apparently, if you post more than three videos a day, then YouTube will only, well, they'll only send out three notifications a day, apparently. This is becoming a joke. Yeah, apparently we posted like eight videos, so notifications will only go out on three of those videos, and we can't choose which ones they go out on. So we did a Serena tribute video earlier on that is doing terribly on views because they didn't send out a notification. And then an hour later, this one goes live, and then we get the notifications come out on this one. So you work it out. I don't understand. But how do we 
the only way I, or the only thing I can suggest is people join our Discord. You will know whenever we go live, there are notifications that come out on there. And we don't have to be reliant on YouTube to send the notifications. It's their job, but they still don't send them. So, a bit sad. All this hard work we put into making these videos. JG saying that it's not that, though. They're clearly limiting us. I don't know. I don't have enough. Maybe we just do too many videos. That's all I can think. Like, I don't know anybody else who does as many videos a day as what our channel does. And they say they don't want to clutter up people's feeds with just one channel posting all the time. Yeah, Todd's saying I just checked the, the GTL homepage for upcoming matches. Good idea. But if there was a match that we decide to do last minute, then you wouldn't know about it until you go on the page and go check it. But if you're a part of our Discord, you'll get a little notification pop up when we go live on stuff. So that's the benefit of being in our Discord. Right, so Kvitova does hold anyway. CJ saying, I just started watching pro tennis again. Been focused in juniors for eight months. What, you been watching the juniors? Where were you watching that? Anyway, they're on the changeover now. Do with some more food, to be honest. Only had a little bit of tortellini. Yeah, tortelloni, tortellini, bambino, bambino. Yeah, so that's all I've had. We got Azarenka coming up with Nicolette leading the way on that one. She is. That's going to be in twenty minutes' time. And then after that one, at six o'clock, we have Rublev Shapo. That's being covered by Harman. Then after that one, we have 6.30, Alcaraz versus Brooksby. And then after that one, we have Pliskova versus Bencic. And then after that one, we have well, potentially Burrell Sabalenka. And after that one, we have Iga Sviontek and Davis. And then Rafa and Gasquet. Now for saying, how many sets has Renka go in? Mm, I'll go two. I think she does her in straights. 15, love. Let's get some likes on this video. We're up to 69. Come on, 31 more likes. I'm going to have to make it more appealing for people to press the... Uh, the like button. I need to get a new like like button song. Maybe I'll do one for 50 likes and 100 likes. That'll get people a bit more salivating over the next one. Fifteen all. Nice forehand winner down the line. Kvitova. Opens her body up, fires that one into the corner. CJ saying, I coach tennis, my bro. Yeah, Todd saying, hoping for a late career deep run for Victoria. GTL's Nicolette is her number one fan. Yeah, I hope for her. It's going to be a good match and she'll be able to emulate that US Open of two years ago where she got to the final. I think it's possible. Anything's possible. Good serve. Mugulutsa block back into play. Backhand to backhand. Now forehand from Kvitova. She's got a lot more power. Backhand cross court from Kvitova. Now forehand from Mugulutsa. The drop shot from Kvitova. Mugulutsa got there and just made a terrible decision. 
Really poor decision making. Just sort of chops it into the middle of the net. Been there many times myself. Make do the hard work in running for the drop shot. You don't really have an idea of what you're going to do before you get there and then execute poorly. That's more often than not for me, though. Yeah, I mean, she just sort of pushed it into the net. 30 all. Good ret Oh, just long from Kovitova. 40 30. Uh, uh. Oh. 40 30. Mogaluta. Servant. Just misses out wide. Serving again for the second time. She serves oh, out wide again. A great serve. And this is game Mugalutha. No one can shock her, can stop her. Gaminia Mugalutha inside her. A fire, Gabinia, Mugaruza, Mugaruza. Mugaruza. Two games all. The number nine. It seems mad. It feels like it should be the other way around. Ninth seed versus 21st seed. I feel like Mughalus has done enough to warrant ninth seed. Two all. Good serve. Nice forehand just over the net from Mughalutha. Forehand chop. Massive backhand winner from Petra Kovitova. Yeah, I mean, she just opens her body up. Just know, She knows the timing. Just has it locked down. <laughs> oh, good return off the serve from Mugalutha. Slice from Kovitova. Backhand across court, Kovitova. Forehand into the net from Kovitova. Be disappointed with that. Oh. oh, excuse me. It's got a stretch. You got a stretch. You got a stretch. Right, 15 all. Ice. Dan T. A Petra Kaviti. CJ saying, you got to love the tunes on this channel. Well, if you want to hear some any other type of uh, player song, send us a $5 super chat. Uh, send it to the link pinned in the description. We'll get any player button of your choosing played. We had Meg's Carpentry in last night with a couple. She had TFO and Clara Towson. You pick the one that you would you would like. I'll get it played. Ace down the tee. 40 15. They're looking at the little net device. Not sure why. Serve just wide. Gary in. Hello, Gary. And Ben. Everyone. Work done. Chores done. Now onto the important stuff. Tennis non-stop. That's what we like to hear, Gary. Getting your chores done. <laughs> what chores were they, Gary? You clear cleaning the guttering? Did you have to go and uh, mow the lawn? 
Is there, was there some uh, a little bit of paintwork needed touching up somewhere? Were you hoovering the car, maybe? Were you uh, cleaning the car? Taking the dog for a walk? You, am I getting closer? Or was it all of the above? I'm interested now. Oh, my word. I feel like there's some hay fever or something around today. You know what I mean? Like pollen. Obviously, hay fever is not around. It's just within the person. Oh, I feel suffering. I feel like there's some pollen or something in the air. It's like tickling me. Because like there's a feather up my nose. Never a good. Right, two games all. Kovitova Mugulutha. Still waiting for Gary to confirm his chores. JG saying watching you is like a chore. Don't have to watch, mate. You could come in. Is that more of a chore for you? <laughs> what, are you what are you doing if you're watching this? That's what I don't understand. Have you made it home yet? If you haven't, just jo jump in, mate. Put your AirPods in. Come in for a bit. Keep, keep us updated on your journey. Oh, look at that. Gary coming in to confirm lawn mowing. And outside will be on Monday. Oh, okay. Believe it or not, laundry, bed making, and inside stuff today. Oh, I did the uh, laundry and bed making. Uh, no, actually, that's a lot. I just did the bed making. JG going to set up. See you soon. Might be over. God, Mugalutha is going to win the next five games straight. Five games? What am I talking about? Four games. If she wins five games straight, it'd be weird. She's going really powerful on these drive volleys. Don't blame her, but they're going a bit close to the line. I feel like I need to get a few more like these little sounds in there. I do what I want. Yeah, I can do what I want. I give you money and that's okay. Oh, pop back in play. Nice down the line there. Looped up from Kavita. It's in. She's going to attack the net. She does. She gets the volley. Mugalutha now lobs her. It's out. Well played, Kavitova. What a way to turn a point around. She's laughing at that one. She had to really work for that. Did it, it was a good decision to follow it into the net. She ended up winning the point. Let's see how Cam Norris getting on. Up a break in the second, as predicted. Just didn't really see Holger Rune really causing him many problems today. Just not consistent enough. Oh, Pagula's kicked off against Juan. That could be a dangerous banana skin, I feel. Everybody expecting Pagula to win that one. But don't rule out Juan. She's been the surprise package of this tournament, really. 142 in the world. And yet to drop a set in qualifying and in the main draw. Uh, she managed to win her last qualifying match, 6-1, 6-love against Inglis, which I thought was pretty impressive. She's beaten four lease and just taken out Begu in straight sets in the, in the second round. So, interest to see how she gets on. 23-year-old from China. Chinese players really... Mounting an offence, it would seem, on the tournament this year. We had, obviously, you being Wu on the men's side, young player. It's a double fault from Mugalutsa. We obviously got Kinwin Zhang. We've got Zhang in there, I believe, is playing today. No, Kinwin Zheng's playing later today. We had Zhang playing yesterday, I believe. Let me just have a quick check. 
Wang went out yesterday. Zhang went through yesterday. Yeah, Wang went out to, to a risk. Amitlage. Right, serving 30 all. Serves in. Good return from Kvitova. Nice forehand. Inside out winner from Kvitova. And it is 30 40. Break point opportunity for the Czech. Very interesting. Can she take the opportunity? This is exactly the same thing that happened in the first set, by the way. Petra up 3-2, and she breaks. Exactly the same as the first set. Well done. Breaks. Yes, it's a... Uh, yes, it's a... Uh... Yes, it's a COVID over. Yes, it's a. Yes, it's a. Yes, it's a. This is what happened last time as well. She went 4-2 up, and then she got broken straight back again. I might have to uh, do a Ben Bonanza, lower the price of some player buttons in a minute, if it encourages you guys to get involved. If I lower it to $2 a player button, who's interested? Put your hands up in the live chat. No, actually... GTL Ben emojis from the members. Anybody else? I don't know what you could put. Give me a... I don't know. What could you give me? Just give me a yes. <laughs> That's terrible. What great, uh, <laughs> what great creative mind I have. My word. I must be tired. Can't even think. It's love 30 anyway. Kavita trying to just throw it all away again. Forehand uh, into the net there from Mugalutha. And it is 15 30. All right, 15 30. Serving. You got Rafael in saying, Vamos, Mugrutha, tope tu puede. A tope tu puedes. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't show the match. We don't have a link for the match. If you've got Amazon Prime in the UK, you can watch it. That one's wide for Mugrutha. It is 30 all. Serve is in. Good return for Mugalutha. Inside out forehand. Backhand. To back. To forehand, I mean. Now Mugalutha's backhand. Trying to pin her in is a terrible drop shop drop shop drop shot attempt by Mugalutha didn't even make the net that one so a chance to go 5-2 up here for Petra Kovitova yes it's a yes it's a Kovitova Misses the first serve. Second serve. 
<laughs> Skin from that sound. My favorite sound is the Mamma Mia. What is your favorite sound? Mamma Mia. Hey, there you go. Come on. Consolidation. Yes, it's a. Yes, it's a. Yes, it's a. Kovitova. Yes, it's a. Yes, it's a. Yes, it's a. Cam Nori is 4-1 up in the second set against Holgerun. This match is 5-2. Petra Kovitova in the second set. Ignore the scoreboard, please. Well, now don't ignore it because it's right now. But it keeps flickering. I'm not sure what's going on with it. If you're just joining us, we're 23 likes away from 100. And why are we not 100 yet? That's what I want to ask you. You, you, yes, you. Press that like button this second. Come on. I want to get the special button out. And I'm going to make some new buttons for the likes. I'm going to do some 50s, some 100s. I'm going to make them. You only, you're going to be making extra accounts to like this video just so you can hear it. That's how good it's going to be. Well, my Neil in saying it's taken Muggle for 10 months to remember how to play tennis this week. But you wonder if Petra can put the pressure on the memory of so many awful showings this year could come back to haunt Garbina. Halloween. Halloween. Service in from Muggle It's long from Kavitavo. 15 love. Well, Kvitova will get a chance to serve it out. It is 5 2, just in case anyone's wondering. And it is 15 love to Garbinia Mugluth. First serve into the net. Second serve. Kvitova taking a time to have a little look at this. Oh, good backhand from Kvitova. Kvitova again. She comes to the net. Poor decision. Gets passed. Gets absolutely... Oh, that was a poor attempt to even come to the net. She barely even got to the near the net and was already passed. Mugulutha apologized for something. Not sure what. First serve in. Forehand, a good one. Backhand down the middle. Kvitova long. Looks like she's just sort of resigned herself to maybe just trying to serve this out. Is that wise? Probably not. Will she be able to do it? Probably. There's a medic on the court in the Nori Rune match. Probably no points for guessing who that's for. Sure, it's going to be for Holger Rune. I can try and confirm it if you guys want. I'll just go over and check David's stream. I'll just do my own quick mega stream. Well, yeah, I think it must have been. Well, I didn't catch it in time. They've already leaving the court, the, uh, the medical people. I think it probably was Holger in though. Just wide from Mugulutra on the first serve. Second serve. Good return there from Kvitova. Too powerful. Neil saying, hoping Cam can keep it up. Still gutted for Jack yesterday. 5-2 up in the third with Hatchin off losing his temper. He had a great chance to win until the hamstring issue. Yeah, disappointed for Draper. He'll be back. Good return from Kvitova. Good forehand. She's not giving up on this game just yet. Nice winner from Kvitova. And it is 
Juice. Yes, it's a. Yes, it's a. Yes, it's a. Kavitova. Yes, it's a. Yes, it's a. Yes, it's a. Kavitova. Oh, Mugaluthu, another good drive volley. Likes to go close to the line. Oh, looks like the train has helped Holgaroon. He's now loved 30 up on the Norrie serve. He's down a double break, though. He needs to do something dramatic. As do you, Lot. You need to do something dramatic with that like button and hit it now so that we can get to 100. We're 20 away. And I can't relax until we get there. Not that I want to really relax, but you know what I mean. 5-3. Serving now for the second set. What? Right, right, right. Okay, so Kvitova serving at 5-3 here. Good forehand, but then into the net from Kvitova there. Right, love 15. Is she going to throw it away as she did in that set, uh, first set? She was up 4 2. Oh, into the net from Muguruza. It's 15 0. Kovitova just needs a few big serves here. Martin Neal saying it was actually Dr. Faroon. Well, it seems to have helped because he's just broken Cam Norrie now. Nice winner there from Kvitova. It's 30-15, two points away from taking this second set. I think uh, very shortly, well, Azarenka... And Martic is pushed back to six. I better just amend the times for that stream. Great serve from Kvitova. It's wide. We've got set point. Serving. Set point. Oh. Clips the net call. Goes wide. Petra serving again. Oh, my word. Double faults again. That's the eighth one of the match. Just not good enough. Uh, yes, after this match is the Martic Azarenka match. So, I don't know when that'll be. It depends if uh, Kvitova decides to throw this away or not. Ah, oh, ace. There you go. From double fault to ace. Second set wrapped up. Yes, it's a... Yes, it's a... Yes, it's a... Kvitova... Yes, it's a, yes, it's a, yes, it's a, COVID over. She's done it. It is one set apiece going in to the final, well, final set shootout, let's call it. Who is going to take this final set? Tell me in the live chat your prediction now.
Bom, bom. I'm going with my pre-match prediction. I'm going to stick with it. Kvitova in three. Uh, I'll go set score. Yeah, I'm going to go with Gene as well. I'm going to go 6-4 as well. Boring, boring. Boring, boring. Uh, just bear with me. I'm just going to grab another drink. I will be back in a jiffy. Do not go anywhere. If you go anywhere, I'll know. I'll be back in just a second. Do not. Maybe I'll leave you with a, just a little piece of music while before I go. Not sure which music to leave you with, to be honest. Anyway, I'll just leave you with this one for now. right back we are right back there we go right so Mugalutha let's get these uh last set predictions in six four petra six three Mugalutha six three just to be contrary with gene six love petra from lexi we got kathy in now as well how you doing kathy good to have you in and I think Petra has momentum, but Muga is not playing awful, so fairly close. Yeah. Nafi going with Azarenka in three. That's a different match. All right, 40-15. Maria saying, since when is Mugalutza dating her couch? That could be the reason she's so inconsistent lately. Well, if anybody was dating their couch, uh, that would be a bit of a strange thing to be doing. What, she just sits on the sofa all day long? Is that what you're saying? It's long. And Marcia saying, who doesn't date their coach? Oh, coach, not couch. Gotcha. I'm sure there's a lot of people who are dating their couch though just sitting eating just stuck in a rut on the sofa the crease groove they call it don't they a little bit of a groove groove all right we'll look to holds one love one love oh rune's done really well there it was two love up now four three and a breakdown jessica pagula serving for the first set won't be long before chapeau 
be coming onto court, I'm sh- I'm sure. Um, if Norrie can get that tied up pretty quickly. It's a fault from Kovitova there. Just long. Yeah, it's just Todd saying, Petra should win if she keeps her shots from sailing. We've got Ahmad saying, where is JG? Said he was setting up, so maybe you'll come in at some point soon. I don't know. That's the simple answer is I don't know. Regula takes the first set against Yuan. And that is six games to two. Quite convincing in the end. Marcel's going to date the <laughs> his couch until the open is over. Don't blame you. Rachel saying, thanks for not swearing. That's perfectly, perfectly fine. Well, that's uh, something that we try to maintain on this channel. We try not to. Want it to be inclusive for all age groups. No. Yeah. Notifications, bear with me. 30 15. Yeah, I mean, I don't see this one. I'm really, I don't think Norrie's going to be over that, that quickly either, to be honest. I don't think Chapo's going to start in 20 minutes. I'd probably say that one. Probably more likely it starts in like an hour. I'll push it to half six for now. Bit of a breeze coming through. Close that door. What's going on? It's like blowing a gale. And yeah, I mean, Azarenka is not going to be on in 20 minutes either. Push that half hour and all. Right. 30 all. Good depth from the shots from Kvitova at the moment. Into the net. Massive roar from Kvitova. Almost like a. It's almost almost like an animal or something on the court there. That was a noise. That's what came out. Lexi saying Ben doesn't swear. I try not to. If it slips out, I do apologize. We got Eve saying we had a Chinese qualifier going out in the men's side. Will the same happen in the women's? Yeah, we had Wu going out. Yuan looks like she's going to go out as well. JG's finalist, Pagula, doing well again. It's into the net. And a big roar again from Kvitova. Wow. Yes, it's a, Yes, it's a, Yes, it's a Kvitova. Yes, it's a, Yes, it's a, Yes, it's a. But hey, good afternoon. How are we doing? Hey, here he is. Been enjoying the match. I've been trying to catch a little bit of it, but I must admit my uh, attention has been slightly skewed because West Ham were playing. Oh, and uh, listen, I'm going to be doing a video on GTO Extra very soon. They must uh, have won then. No, they lost, and I've got oh. a lot to say. I've got a oh, lot to no. say. I've, I've got a real lot to say, in fact. Oh, no, no. So I'm not in the mood to talk about it right now, but I will be talking about it on GTO Extra. So go check yeah. that if you want to watch it. But for now, let's focus on this match. Kvita and Muguruza in three sets. <laughs> Muguruza, who knows what you're going to get from her. Um, she's not down. been in great form at all. Kvitova probably would have been a big favourite coming into this. She took the first set, Muguruza. But from Lucky, what I've really. seen of it, I think Kvitova should be winning from this position. Should be. I mean, the, the way she took the first set was... Uh, not more good. Kovitova hitting like darts. Look how many double faults she's hit, like nine or so far. And never import. She did three in one game to give the set away. It's just that's just poor. So she looks better though, Kovitova. I'd say. Oh, all in all, she looks like the best player. Thanks to Diego Garza hey. Maldonado. Nice name. I like it. It's, is it Argentinian or? Must be. 
thanks for becoming a member. I'll add you yeah, to the list. That. Welcome, Diego. Let us know who is your favourite tennis player. Oh, no, not this again. <laughs> the unanswered <laughs> question. I always find it's people joining the membership with people who aren't in the live chat. Though. I think so. I think that is a case as well. So we've got to remember a lot of people who do join the membership necessarily aren't even in the live chat. So we're probably not getting ignored. Maybe they're watching a previous video and doing it. True. Or they're just seeing our channel and they just go on the main page and they're like, those two look like a good laugh. I want to become a member. Well, let's try and get up to 100 likes. It's been a bit of a turbulent day for me, really. I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's been very turbulent, to say the least. So please let me have 100 likes. That'll mean the world 200 to 200 likes. I've been on Come wrong on. trains. I've been uh, going back to the uh, forgetting future. things, oh. trying to find things, cleaning. West Ham losing, corruption. I've been part of it all today. Corruption? Yeah. What? You were part of the corruption? No. Well, <laughs> I was on the receiving end of corruption. Oh, from the government? Here we go. <laughs> not getting onto it on this stream, but let's please just get to 100 <laughs> likes. That's what I want. I had 16 away. Here comes Kvitova. Love 30. Yes, it's her. Yes, it's her. You're good at doing well? Yeah, really well. I feel like she's going to get that done in straights. Oh, ace Mugurusa. Big serve out wide. Great serve. Just up 30 all. Good drive volleys today from her. Very I mean, close to She looks to the quite line. focused. Do you not yeah. think? She's looked better the than The best I level thought. I've seen her in a while. She hasn't she hasn't had to play any like veterans yet. She had to play two real youngsters like Towson and Fruvatova. I mean, look at that for a serve as well. I think yeah. it's really sad because when she gets everything together, she has the ability to be the one of the top players. And when I say top, I mean like top three. Like your world number one style top. Like, yeah, like with Eager. She can battle with Eager. She was the world number one. You gotta remember that. She can be the world number one, but she just... I mean, last year she won the... Did she not win the... Well, tour finals. The tour finals. She did. She that the tour was... finals last year, then just declined drastically and hardly it won a match. It influenced some people's decision-making, I feel, in the in their predictions for this year, but... Do you think? Yeah, I don't know. I'm reading Marcel's comment here saying the wrong train day is never fun. Together with a corruption day, just go back to bed. And leaving your glass on, you didn't lose your glasses, did you? you? No, I couldn't find my glasses. I couldn't, it's just, I did find my glass. I found everything, so everything's all right. Obviously, my aim was to do this stream, but because of all the other issues what I've had, I was unable to start it. But I am here now, that's the main thing. He's here. <laughs> he made it. I wish I'd never watched West Ham. Yeah, I mean, that's always an error. In fact, part of me wants me just to film this video now. I mean, you can if you want. No, but I'm, I feel like I'll just finish this with you. All right. You'd prefer some company, right? Yeah, I mean, it's good fun. I mean, I've run out of beers, which is sad, but what can you do? I'm going to go to the shop after this. We've got a bit of a break after this. We've got Nicolette yeah. covering Azarenka. Nice. We've got Harman covering Rublev Chapeau. Another good match. That's a close one. I think Rublev and that. I, I think Chapeau, Chapeau beats him. Rublev in four. Listen, Chapeau is an upset. I think he beats him. It's close. It really is. Both the big the... one tonight, Nadal Gasquet. Really looking forward to it. Make sure you join us on the channel. It'll be midnight. Gasquet in four. <laughs> Gasquet's not getting a set. <laughs> Gasquet in straights. <laughs> I don't know. Rafa seems to turn it on when he plays gas game more than most. Must be just, um, memories from his youth. He's the ideal, like, if you're one of those players, like, going through the draw, like a Federer, Djokovic, or Nadal, when you get gas game, it's like the ideal matchup. I feel that all of them cream yeah. him. Yeah, definitely. All the big guys cream gas game. Remember, but I tell you who does struggle against a gas game, like a young gun. Mm. In fact, even like an Alcaraz, I think an Alcaraz is not going to like a gas game. We destroyed Gasquet in the final, his first ever win. Yeah, but regardless, I feel that I just... he's different to some of the other. I feel that. Yeah, but Kets... even then, it's closer than what it will be. But Kitsmanovic, what does that about? Uh... Holgarun, I think he's yeah, like a Gasquet. Probably... Well, 
Kitsmanovic lost to Gasca in the last round, which is pretty mad. I thought Kitsmanovic would do a bit better. Yeah, oh, Gary, the intern. I liked your Serena uh, presentation earlier. Yeah, go check that out if you haven't already. YouTube have been screwing us on top of my great day. I've had Stop. YouTube as well adding to it with what they're doing. I mean, trying. why are they not showing the videos anymore? It's a shame, but go check it out. It is a really... I, I don't know why I did it. I don't want to blame my own trumpet, but it's not really me. It's more the fact that Serena was so great. It's so easy to talk about. And it's really interesting just to see all of the things she's been able to do. So go check it out if you want to relive some great Serena Williams moments. And Tomjanovic on her, outstanding. She's a real competitor. And in a way, if she's to shock everyone and win the US Open, I feel like it would be quite fitting. The one who beat, and beat Serena Williams lifts the, tro lifts the trophy. Don't see that. It'd be quite happening. a nice touch. No, it can happen. Coco sure. would be the better story. What, more than Tomjanovic? Yeah, much more. The way Tomjanovic played, come on. Uh, that wouldn't have happened against somebody else, I don't think. I feel that Serena's limit was a uh, certain... And I think that, that was the perfect... I said it earlier, I think that was the perfect match for her to go out on because it was actually competitive. She played somebody. She might have got blown away against Sam Snow and everyone was like, oh, she got beaten like one and love in her final match or something. You're like, well, that's a terrible way to go out. Much better to go out saving match points, drama, better, I think. I don't think Tom Janovic goes through the next round. Based off that fight, I think it's hard to rule her out. But I would have agreed with you before I saw the match against Serena, definitely. Yeah. But uh, back to this point. one, that is a good winner from Kovitova. And she does hold serve to all. Nothing separating these two in this final set. Let us know in the live chat. How do you see it going? Who are you favouring from this position? Is Muguruza going to steal it or Petra Kvitova? Let us know. I think personally I'm going to have to go with Petra Kvitova and I think it's going to be really tight. Maybe a tie break. Uh... I, I think I gave... I, I went with Jean. I went 6-4. I think it gets to 4-all, then she does it. Potentially as well. Muguruza's serving okay at the moment, though. Yeah. And she is dependent on her serve. People don't realise that, but Muguruza needs to... Win the, she's a bit like a her catch, the female her catch. Oh, God, that's mean. Is it? I think she draws more people to the court than her catch. No, but I'm not talking... I mean, in terms of he's someone who relies on the serve, just like she yeah, does. Yeah. The female her catch. I like it. It's the female Ben. Ben's quite reliant on his serve. I'm definitely reliant on my serve, especially the only the first one though. The second one I'm not reliant <laughs> on at all. That one could yeah, just do go... you feel like when you play me that the first serve is really essential, you get it in? For a decent rally, yeah. I feel that I do better if I just take if I do the first serve at about seventy five percent, I do better in the rally than if I do it a hundred percent. Because when it comes back fast, I'm screwed. <laughs> but if I get if I get it just in, you just try to get it back in with a good like a nice shot somewhere, but not with so much, but you have to create some pace. When I just to go like then I'm like, Oh god Oh, it's gone. Right. <laughs> Terrible. Like this just doesn't help like serving fast if you're not gonna put it in a corner. Maybe you just need to increase your reaction speeds a bit. Or accuracy of serve. <laughs> that would be better. If I could serve down the tee really well. That would I think you should be... still try and serve bombs, but just follow it up with a big shot. The... I feel like you, thing you, should... you hit a good serve and you admire it. I don't come to the net. That's the problem. No, because you hit a, it's like you. You hit a good shot and you admire it. You sit back and just watch it. I'm just lazy. We've got Liam in saying the irons are finished. Well, listen, mate, don't get on to me because I will be doing a video on GTO Extra very soon on my post-match reaction. Yeah. I've got a lot to say. How are Chelsea and, uh, doing anyway? Has anyone owned that club yet? Exactly. Serena's Jeez, probably... <laughs> honest, Serena's in South southwest London now. It's cheating. That's what it is. At the highest, Serena's, what's highest, highest level. Serena owned them with Lewis Hamilton. Yeah, that was a good news video, wasn't it? One of the best. Probably did better than the latest one today. It's like a liquid news video, that one. Ooh. Shots fired. They performed well, didn't they? 
Honestly, I'm just riled up. I need to. I really need to jump out, mate, and do this thing. Especially if Liam's in this live chat, I'm gonna have to go yeah, out and do it now. Do it if you want, man. I don't mind. Oh, it's called a liquid alert. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I didn't know. Liquid nine. alert. <laughs> Who would know? <laughs> no one. No one looks at them. <laughs> liquid alert. I like it. Now, liquid. anyway, go check out the Something's Liquid, liquid It is a good, joking aside, it's a really good podcast, up and coming, great boxing content. Um, the football content's all right. Don't like it when they cover West Ham, but apart from that, not bad. Was there some controversial views on the West Ham? No, to be yeah. fair, Liam's quite, he's not He's not a delusional type. I can't really knock him for that. He's, he's, um, he sees black as black. Interesting. Well, I look forward to tuning into the next one. I can't say uh, I had the opportunity today with this match going on, but maybe next time. Some UFC going on. There's been some people in the live chat who are actually just going to the UFC in Paris to this, today, so they had to leave to go to that. So maybe I'll have to cover that. Right. 3-2. On serve. Good serve that from Kavitova. Kavitova. What's the first serve percentages like? Hmm. 88% for Kavitova. Serve oh, into the net. Not Can really the winner good of enough. this potentially go and win? I mean, there's not many seeds left. We've got the number nine and number 21 seed here. Could we be uh, looking at our champion this year? Maybe. I mean... They have a chance, but I don't. I haven't been blown away by either of them. No, me too, man. I feel they both need to go and take a long, hard look in the mirror after today. Ask themselves: Do they really want to do this? When you've got the young guns like firing on all cylinders, like Coco Goff, you can tell she surprised, really. Wants I'm it. surprised neither of us put her really far this year. I think I had key. Maybe did I have keys knocking around? I think so. I went yeah, for a bit strange. of a punt. I think I went the same. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> Recency <Quite> bars. <laughs> Yet again. Happens. Oh, is that? Oh, let's got well lucky there. That pinged right up and bounced just on the line. Here we go. 15 all. Can we get to 100 likes already, please, everyone? 14, 13 away. Come on. Let's do it. I'll have to say it again. I probably will. That's long. Here comes yeah. Muguruza. Does anyone think Muguruza can win this match? She's just like 50 50 this match. There's no, I don't think there's anybody who's really like a huge favourite at all. No, it's from this point. I don't feel Kavitova. either of them. Pretty much I would have said Kavitova. Yeah, yeah. I just Cam Norrie's doing the business. Have you seen that? Two sets to love up. Yeah, it's been a bit of a topsy turvy second set since the trainer came on for Rune. Then he went up a break, Rune. Then he went down a break, and then he lost. I mean, there's a lot going on, really, because we've got Medvedev Kyrgios coming up Whoa. now tomorrow. Oh, that's going to gonna be the last yet, one. Do we? It's going to be the last one, obviously. Oh, it's going to be midnight, hopefully. We don't know the time. It'll be mid. It was after midnight. If you're us. guessing again, Ben. Well, I know for a fact it won't be before midnight. You don't know that for a fact. You're guessing. Well, Two usually, break points, Muguruza. All right. So, you okay. I'll put Listen, some money on it This is not the now. time to cross me, Ben. I'm telling you, you're guessing. I'm putting some money on it then. All right. So, you want to bet? No. I'm All not right, betting. Cool. I don't so have any money means... either. Okay. So, that means that I'm right. I don't have any money. On top of everything, my friend asked me to borrow some money. So, I sent him money. So, now I don't have any. <laughs> you must be rich if you're lending money out. Huh? <laughs> No, nah, he's going to pay me back Monday. It's fine. That's but I don't have money to play with, that means, now, until Monday. That's the problem. Never a lender or a borrower be. <laughs> just a good person, that's all. Power shouldn't ever, first. Shouldn't ever lend money. Just Oh, give money. it's gone long. It's gone long, and it oh. is the break. Muguruza here, leading 4-2. No one can shock her, can stop her. Inside of a fire, 
Abinha Muguruza Muguruza Wow. Well, that wasn't in the script. Muguruza, the ninth seed, leading here in the third set. 4 2 up. He's going to win the whole thing. <laughs> you did joke about it, didn't you, the other day? And I mean, do you know what that will really do well for my uh, beginning Predict- of the year prediction? I know. The start of the <laughs> She'd year. Be interested to see where she would. Let me have a look on the live <laughs> rankings where she could move up to should she win the tournament. Because she'll be pick quite... up a lot of points if Muguruza can do it. This is her worst Grand Slam, so she doesn't guaranteed she's not defending yeah. more, many points. At least it'll save some blushes for me. Oh, oh. The, although next up is going to be most likely Jessica Pagula. Easy. And that's another one she won't be favourite for. But she's still got to get through Kvitova. It's love 15 here. We're into the rally. It's a weak shot from... Muguruza, Kavitova puts it away. Love, 30 now. This has happened in every set. They've One of them's gone 4-2. Kavitova 4-2 in the first set, then got broken straight back. Kavitova 4-2 in the second set, actually closed it out. Now we're 4-2, Muguruza in the third set. So, yeah, she couldn't go to number one, but she could go to number what, two. M- Kavitova was 4-2 up in the first set, you say? Yeah. Oh, great backhand, Muguruza. Finally finding two. some form, man. Let's have a look at Muguruza's. I'm sure you've already been through it, her matches, right? Yeah, yeah, but it's still. Go but I'm going to have to have a look because it does baffle me. Is that, the players like she's the been summer? losing to is ridiculous. Greek Minin at Wimbledon. <laughs> I mean, Petkovic in Berlin. It's ridiculous. Kenepi at Roland Garros. Kind of understand that. It's not the worst. Trevisan she lost to. Putin Saver, Kalanina. A lot of losses. Just loads in the... So she Keener wins. recently, she lost to Benchit. But here, US Open, it's been going well. Towson, Fruvatova, straight sets. All now trying to knock out Kvitova. Oh. Kvitova will be her biggest win, I would say. Yeah, a long time. Of the year, probably. <laughs> yeah. It's biggest year, win of the year. It's got to be. Let's have a look. Who else she's beaten of any note? No one. Conta- be oh, to be fair. Oh, no, she's not beating anyone. She's hardly okay. played, to be fair. And when she has, she's lost a lot. So you need her to win this tournament. She goes to second in the world if she wins the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell. I know. That'd be a bit nuts if she does that. Oh, well, it should overtake Conta V. Oh, ace from her. Oh, is it another one, though? It's not. Sadly not. 40 30 trying to get to 5 2 and consolidate. Surely this is game over now, isn't it? Yep, there you go, 5 2. Kvitova has got a big job on her hands now. Yep, looks like she's going to be going out. <laughs> yeah, and uh, apologies for some of the. Uh, bad comments in the live chat. We've seen that, Kathy, and we will be blocking him immediately. Yeah. Yeah, we don't tolerate any of that. So, yeah, not going to say his name, not going to give him the limelight, but he is now permanently blocked from the channel. Thanks for bringing that to our attention, Kathy. Sorry you had to, well, go through that abuse. That's what it's called. Yeah, that's no place for that here. Get out. And stay out. That's all we can say to you people. No warning on that either. If there's anything across the line, it's just a permanent ban. Most definitely. <laughs> oh, it's flying. Here we go. Muguruza one game away. Let's give her the button for a little push here. Go on, Garbina. She's my world number one. She's going to be trying to fight up the <laughs> table. First time Come I've on. heard you say it. That's, yeah. Come on, Muguruza. <laughs> no one can shag her. Here we go. Is she going to be able to get the break now and take this set? 
What's what's match. Kvitova got in the? Well, take the set and the match. What's Kvitova got left in the tank? We've seen she's part of the old school, really. Is Muguruza part of the old school as well? Not, I don't know. I feel like she's a little bit. She guess I guess she is, but I feel like she's younger while. than Kvitova. Yeah, she is definitely younger. Wide from Muguruza down the line. Nice outfit is... from her as well. I like the pink. Nice trainers as well. Liam's asking, can Radu Kanu ever come back? Come back to what? She'll play the US Open again, I'm sure. Will she ever come back and win a Grand Slam? Hard I don't to, think so. Hard to say. I don't think so. I said after the US Open, she's not going to win anything in three years, not even a WK 250. She'd have to uh, give up. She wouldn't even win an ITF event. She'd have to give up a lot of uh, other things to be able to win tennis tournaments. That's the but thing. she will... She's got the ability. Like I'm, I'll always try and get behind her. It's just desire. But now, she though. needs to settle in to this whole newfound fame, and it's going to take some time for her to settle into that. And at the moment, she's just not settled. Die down. And not okay. just that. The problem first, she's not playing enough tennis. She needs to play a lot more regular events, and then she's not going to have constant issues with blisters. Because I'm sorry, if you're a professional tennis player, your hands shouldn't be soft. Piano players' hands. I mean, my hands are quite soft because I've never really done a day's work in my life. I work on an Very office. Soft. I've never been a labourer, but I still play tennis quite a bit. And from playing tennis regularly, I'll play four or five times, four times a week at the moment. I try to, three, four times. It's quite a bit. And from doing that, you build up calluses in your hands. Yep. So you don't get so many blisters. Should you go down and do some weightlifting? That gives you calluses as yeah, well. Yeah, that's actually, that's actually a good point. Like Even if she was to do some lightweight so that will help with the blisters on your hands definitely yeah for sure like when i used to go to the gym more regularly even my hands were like hard those like parts like by your below your fingers were just all just solid it was weird calluses yeah it was weird weird to have that on your hands but you've got a really good gym story don't you from gym box <laughs> yeah when i got <laughs> pinned to the uh, bench press <laughs> by like a 10 kilo weight <laughs> They had to get I saved always, by a I strong always, guy in the, in the gym. I refused to get saved by a woman as well. That was part of the story. The shoe walked past and I refused to shout for help until the guy came past let <laughs> <laughs> get it off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Liam would like that one. That was funny. I could make like a little cartoon of that story. It would be quite amusing. I swear okay. every time I tell the story, the, the weight gets lighter and lighter as well. It's like one kilo yeah. weight. Andrew Tate time. would hate you. Definitely not top G on that, though. <laughs> Bottom G. Neil Michaels in saying, Emma just needs to avoid injuries and play a lot more tennis. Agreed. I saw uh, those fingers covered in tape and I knew it would be trouble, even though no one on Amazon did. Listen, oh, Amazon. I don't want to talk about Amazon. <laughs> I can go off on another rant today about them. Oh, they are a farce of an organisation when ranter. it comes to commentary. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. If you're watching an English player and you've got Amazon Prime commentators doing it, I'd rather burn my eyes out than watch it. I would never. I just, just not worth it. You don't want to hear them. You don't want to see them. They're <laughs> terrible. <laughs> terrible, <laughs> terrible. And I think it's safe to say I'm never going to get a job on Amazon. But the commentary is the most... I never forget watching Iga Raducanu and there was the most biased commentary I've ever seen. I don't and even it's just, watch. It's just the things they anymore. say. The things they say about Radu Kanu is just laughable. I think I miss all of that. I don't. I don't think. I don't remember the last time I watched a tennis match with commentary. It's a bit strange. I never do. Even if I have the option, I still try and find the one without commentary. I prefer it. Yeah. So don't. I, I can't talk about Amazon. I really get agitated by them. Sometimes just watching sport when it's got like just foreign commentary that I can't understand is better. Oh yeah, for sure. I find that in boxing sometimes. Like even if I get a, if I manage to find a stream, you don't get that it... in tennis so much. So no, nah. like I don't in think boxing, they broadcast it around the world. No, nah. like because boxing, like even in the UK again, they're so biased for certain people, and you just Anthony can't Joshua. trust. Like and some people, like David Hay, always slags off Tyson Fury, saying he's losing every fight. Like what? <laughs> like stop! Like it's just jealousy. Yeah. Stop it. I don't want to hear that. I just want to watch the fight. Right. Ooh, a good return from the... Oh, it says Shank. 
Oh my word. Probably people yeah. said the same about game to love and me with Rafa, but the difference is like I feel as a duty of a commentator, as much as I support Rafa, if you if there was something to happen which I didn't agree with and he did it, I'd like to think I would call it out. I really do. I thought the Amazon Prime commentators, I mean Radu Kanu could literally get a gun on the court and shoot the opposition and they'll be like, Oh, it's a bit unlucky, wasn't it's it? It's a good Didn't game. Mean to do it. Did Just well. a sponsor. Sponsored by Glock. Sponsored by AK forty seven <laughs> or something like that. Shit me. Terrible. Means, the National Rifle Association or something sponsors Emma Raduka. Wow. Two points away here for Galbinia Mugalut. Yeah, shout out to Pecci. I agree, Neil. He was quite good. Shame he got the sack, really. Wimbledon, he was good. Wow. And he kind of knew what he was saying. You can't have a good you know, Yeah, like opinion. he said there, Neil, he said they had five people covering the Emma match. Ridiculous. And none of them were any good. Break point, Kvitova. Here we go. Mugurus a bottle in it here trying to serve out for the match. Yeah, Kathy's right, saying you aren't paid commentators. I'm <laughs> working for broadcasters. You do this for fun and you don't that, you don't need true. to be neutral, really. We're here to sometimes it's good because it means other people come in like, no, I'm a Djokovic fan, you're a Rafa fan, I disagree. That's fine. Who cares? It's good fun. Oh, for- Mugurusa oh, with a shank, word. Ben. She doesn't. She can't handle shank. the pressure. And Kvitova breaks back. Yes, it's a. Yes, it's a. Yes, it's a. Kvitova. Yes, it's a. Yes, it's a. Yes, it's a. Classic Mughal choke. Classic Mughalutha. Going to go tie break now, aren't we? I mean, as Omar says, la gran Mughalutha, gran campiano, excelente jugador. Well, yeah. she's an excellent player. Player, yeah. Great champion. But the problem is she's not acting like a champion right now because serving for this match, she wasn't able to be a gran campion. campion. Scoreboards all over the place today. I don't know what's going on. I've I've messaged already, but I'm not sure what's going on. It's just been behind the whole time. Or they're flicking back to the last game. (laughs) No, I'm not going backwards in time. Do you remember? (laughs) It was wrong. We used to just get. (laughs) You said, "I'm not having this." We didn't have that score. (laughs) Well, something. Well, it was just like a. It was painful to just sit there whilst the score and everyone, everyone in the live just like. The scoreboard rang. The scoreboard rang. The scoreboard rang. What does this say, Ben? We've got Neil saying, Bueno, bueno, Mugurusa. Excelente a veces, Omar. Pero bastante mal el resto de este año. Mm. Good. What does that mean? Mugurusa. Excellent. Uh, for something, Omar. Pero who's, o- means... who's Omar? Is that but... the country or? No, that's the guy, Omar. Oh, okay. But. Bastante. I'm not sure what Bastante is. M- bad. Enough. Mal is bad. El resto de este an año. Is that? That's not a year, is it? Maybe trying to. The say rest of the year. Bad for the rest of the year. Maybe. I don't know. I don't think año's year though. Oh, Marzin saying para se babos norados. Noradores. <laughs> noradores. Ah, ah si, si, si. Noradores. What's that mean? Probably swearing or something. Who knows? I don't have a clue. Neil saying great pronunciation, JG. <laughs> Loving it. Yeah, man. Anyo. Yeah. Yeah. You've said your Spanish accent, JG. Ah, so but funny. An- I bet Anyo's spelt wrong, though. That's why I'm reading it wrong. Because Anyo is, has the N. It's like A N Y O. Like Tengo. Like Tengo. What is it? Oh, like, here it is. Like, here it is. Oh, I enter size. Just like La Bira. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know why I said that. I could have said anything else, couldn't I? Anything I actually knew. <laughs> Tangle. You could have said anything. Tangle. I still go down. That's the funniest moment I've ever had with you, by far. <laughs> it's a good one, though. Like, it's comedic in terms of you could make a comedy sketch about it and it would do, it would just be so funny. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> let's film it. It's just my favorite moment, man. Tengo 20 años. No, you don't. You wish. <laughs> what? <laughs> Tengo uno anos. Hey, we got Neil and saying, son, son muy inteligente, Ben. <laughs> y JG, es verdad, Omar. That's correct. And JG is correct about Omar, is that? Yeah. Verdad is correct, isn't it? Yeah. Muy inteligente. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you trying to beg it, man? Well, wow, that's me. that's that's the pronunciation. G is ch. Muy inteligente. Muy inteligente. Muy inteligente. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 you gotta make sure you say anios, though, not anos. Not anos. Because anos is anus. It's a fine line between years and anuses in Spain. Wait, what's Mugurusa done here? She's now serving five all. Ignore the scoreboard. It is messing up. It is five all. Kvitova held serve and consolidated the break back quite easily. Yeah, Neil, we're going to stop because we are. I feel like we are definitely letting you down a little bit now. Yeah, I feel so. I had a good rep and then I just fell off. <laughs> I feel like we're, we're moving away from the tennis a little bit here. Wow. Mugulutha is now going to go and hold serve to at least get a tie break. That's guaranteed. It's been a long old match, really. Yeah. Well, it's still two hours. We've not even made 100 likes. If you haven't already, hit the ah. like button on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Mugulutha, volley at the net. Kvitova slices it and Mugurusa finds the volley. Wow. Good shot. Dirty in? love. Yep. Wow. So close to the line again. I did say from... tie break, didn't I? Looks like it's going to be right. Yuan is doing all right in the second set against Pagula. Is she? Rep, rep in China. 4 3 up on yes. serve. You made me think like it was off a break. No, I'd say a break if it was. God, look it's at doing... Nori go. I know. He's killing him. Could he win it? No. Next up, Rublev or Shapo. I think he beats Ibra there. I think he beats them, yeah. But where's, Ber- that, where's Berrettini got? After next? that, Rafa. <laughs> Easy. Then he beats Rafa. And after that, who? Sinner? I don't know. Alcaraz? Or Sinner? Or Mussetti, maybe. Maybe Mussetti makes a run. Good serve from Mugulusa. Surely it's going to get to six. Oh, eclipse the net cord. Oh, great shot, Kavitova. She's moving her around. Mugulusa cool. on the stretch. Oh, drive volley, Brilliant. Kavitova. Good shot. Great. I got to speak to Kavitova. How was she? At Wimbledon. She good? I got the first question in, I think. I think I got the only question in English. In well, there was no <laughs> other people. No, it was the only English question for the day. It was me. That's so mad. So after she'd lost at Wimbledon, there was only her? one journalist asking her an English question. It was me. What would you ask her? How does it feel to have lost today? I was like, no, it's the reason. <laughs> I said, <laughs> something, but I think it was along Brilliant. the lines of your second serve uh, was struggling a lot today. Do you think that was a reason you struggled to be competitive in the break point of? Uh, my, oh, I forget exactly what I said. I oh, know you had something. It was about break point opportunities. Do you feel like you lost today because you didn't play your best tennis in these big moments? Ooh, today would have been a good question for the second serves. I think ten double faults. Yeah, she quite oh. liked my question. She answered it without getting too angry. She didn't try and lunge at you or something. No, it's crazy Swamp. to think we have access to these players. 
Yeah, I don't know what they were doing. Probably oh, the most entertaining questions they got asked, though, by us. Definitely the Alex Dimonor one I asked. I mean, it made front page news on the newspapers, my question. My well, his for, answer did. My one for Rafa made it into Reuters. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what is Reuters news reporting on my question? I did ask uh, Emma a question as well, Neil. Woo! Did Wasn't you say you got too many? I was going to, I should have said to her, do you, do you think that you went out because you're now wearing earrings on court that are dangly? And that, that's just. You could have just asked that. I mean, no journalist ever going to say it. Do you think you could just be like, do you think having all this amount of sponsors and yeah. things happening outside of the tennis is causing a big distraction to your performances on the court? Yeah. No Should one like... uh, no one asks her. And yeah, everyone she... would be listen, there's no way you're saying yeah now, but there's no, no way. But everybody you'd have asked she her. would just, no, but her answer everyone was in the media room like, Oh, Emma, you didn't every, so well every, today. Her answers would be obvious, that's why. She would have been coached on what to say in those questions so people know what to ask they're just looking for clicks on certain things she was just saying no well you know uh, after winning the us open uh, i've just had a lot i do still dedicate majority of my time to tennis and i fit it in perfectly we have a good schedule you know the answers that's what i thing. we knew all the answers to a lot of the questions we we're even yeah. asking that's the that's problem true. they're too well they're never going to give an actual answer like it's yeah. actually been too much jg if i'm honest like i can't barely juggle it i can't even really i have to wake up at 4 a.m and to not go just and that do... mate everyone in the room would just give me that scolding looks for saying it they're like oh uh, apparently you've you've had your uh accreditation. as i'm saying the been... question someone just literally lifts me off Accreditation's been removed, like there and then. So it's taken taken off you. They're like, you walk out. They're like, excuse me, can you come into this other room? <laughs> Emma's in there <laughs> with a like big bouncer bodyguard that like, beats you in. <laughs> does My boyfriend's in there. Just knocks me out. <laughs> Those are boyfriends. That's big news. Oh, yeah, you'd do a news video on that, wouldn't you? Yeah, definitely. Do you reckon Jack Draper, Emma Raducanu, power couple? No, nah, he's not big enough name. What? Jack Draper? No, nah, I mean... Future small... England number one, I reckon. Sm yeah, well, when he's number one, then she, then he can start talking. It's too small for I at the moment. Like Cam Norrie? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'm not British, going to the US Open. It's at least British number one. <laughs> yeah, Neil's saying I could have gone with a grenade. Emma, do you believe all WTA coaches are so overrated that you don't need one? <laughs> Ooh. That's the problem with those ones. It's just they probably just give you either a one word answer or just go like, oh, sorry, I don't feel like I want to answer that. Yeah. They can just say that if they want. It is scary asking a controversial question. Yeah, because like your people heart, don't realize what it's like to be in there. Your heart is already even asking a normal question is a bit like. I mean, the Steph one. I can't believe I did that on my second question. I started referencing his tweets. <laughs> 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 Thinking back, I took some balls. I think I was there on my own. It was a full room, and Steph just <laughs> staring me down. And I asked him about one of his tweets. He then did. he did the long pause. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, "Oh, what have I done?" <laughs> But then watching all of his interviews, like recently, even for the US Open, did you see he always does that pause for everything? Let's try it. Well, at it's least just he's him. thinking. He's thinking. Oh, he likes to make it's his thing, I think. Yeah. Well, 40 15 Kvitova here. Nice inside out forehand. And again, goes drop shot. Muguruza gets there. Good oh, shot good from Muguruza. Nice one. She read the where the ball was going to go very well, anticipated it, hit a nice shot into the corner. Kvitova struggled to reach it. Clever play. The drop shot wasn't great, but for a really fast Muguruza there. Not an easy shot. Nope. Oh, Norrie beats Rune. What was the score? Easy. 6-1 in Red the third. Red stick. Easy. Go on, Rune. Norris here now. Dominating. You didn't ask Muguruza a question, did you, at Wimbledon? Was she there? Yeah, she went out. First round. Did we miss it? Maybe wasn't there that day. Yeah, I can't remember. You'd have asked her something, I'm sure. 
John would have. <laughs> Guaranteed. <laughs> Those who don't know, John fancies Magurusa. I mean, she's a good looking know. lady. I was happy with my selection that I spoke to. That was, I had a good little batch. Some were just terrible that I didn't even need to bother. Mate, you just kept flirting with Ons Jabur every minute. Oh, you're so nice on the tour. Why are you so nice? <laughs> I literally cringe when you was asking Ons Jabur a question. You're just jealous. It's cringe pot. You loved it. Ons didn't. She did. She was cringing inside as well. It's like Elise Cornet. <laughs> that one was funny. But... She cut you off. <laughs> I know. Then she don't lost next. To, don't talk to me about Corno. She lost next round just due to not answer. Oh, it's into the net from Forty Love. Mugurusa has a match point. Wow. Just turn that around quick. Yeah. Match point. Big, big moments here. We've got Massive. two hours and 15 on the clock. Mugurusa took the first set, 7 5. Kavitova come back, won the second, 6 3. Mugurusa trying to take this one seven five like the first. What's Kvitova got? An ace. Oh, That's wow. what she's got. <laughs> That's impressive, man, isn't it? To hit That's an amazing. ace on match point is class. That's, in, that's amazing. I love the feeling. I've never hit an ace on match point. Imagine what Serena was feeling last night. Every all those match points with winners as well. Although so I've hit an ace on set point. Ooh. Against one of the top players I've ever played in indoor hard court. And what it felt good. What? Petra's dripping. It was a long juice. My word. See her face. It's literally pouring off of her at the moment. It must She's be hot, a, man. Needs a towel. Apparently, it's not that hot. Apparently, it's 24 degrees. That's still hot for me, but. Double fault. Oh, it's another one. From an ace to a double fault. And we've got another match point. Match point. Is she going to be able to convert this one? What's that? Second time of asking. What's that Twitch message? Oh, it's a really good serve. Muguruza gets it back in play. We're into the rally. Muguruza goes deep. Oh, it's into the net. Wow. What a poor shot from her. Don't feel like she needed to do that. She's running back to the towel quickly just to wipe the sweat off so that she doesn't run the shot clock down. Yeah, it must be David in the other one, right? Ah, okay. That's what happened. <laughs> I'm like, what? where did that just come from? Interesting. All right, Juice. Can she force a tie break? Good serve. Backhand down the middle. It's looped long. up. It's long. Wow. It's I mean, now game point. bottling this so much, man. We've got Serjan saying, go, Kvitova. Go. Let's go. Eat him all. Eat him all. It was a poor shot. Gary saying, 10-point tie break. That would be lovely. <laughs> he loves it, Gary. Anything to go the distance on the women's side. He's all for it. Oh, I'm gonna yeah, have to push Gary definitely stuff. loves the women's more. Much more. Oh, just missed it. Oh, it's a double four again. again. I mean, did it? What are these two doing? Then um, neither of them are going to win. They can't win this tournament playing like this. No chance. Leila Fernandez didn't die for this. All right, bit dramatic. Die. Should have been one in, winning this. <laughs> she did it. Just a news clip. She has not died. She's asked out the tournament. Yeah, it's a saying, like going out didn't die for this. Oh. Is it not? I don't know. Have made I've that up. I don't know. Maybe. <sighs> Big oh, forehand winner stop. from Kvitova. You know what's coming next? <laughs> Double, Double four. four yeah. <laughs> it's the running theme. 11 Double Faults is just madness. 
A few people joining the chat. 12, How are we doing? Thanks for joining. Hey. If you haven't already, hit the like button on the video. Subscribe if you're new. We're going to get up to 100, I think, just before this one ends. It's been a nine-minute game. Oh, come on. Serve. That was late as well. Why is it delayed? The Here it comes. machine. Here's the DF, Ben. Just underarm it or something. Just get it in. Is it going to be a DF? Take some pace oh. off it. It's in. Oh, that's Winner. in as well. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, look at Usta. Just killed the ball. Incredible. Shot. Wish I could do those. I wonder who I have for my bracket. Do I have Kvitova going? Probably. Do you have Kvitova? I would have thought so. Recency. Yeah, but you had Kvitova. We're just going out first round, I'm sure. Yeah. Towson I had her to come into this stage. And then going out? Probably. Yeah, it's a bit of a... Oh, it's into the net from Mugulusa. If you're just joining us, come on. Hit the like button. Get us to 100 likes and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Yeah, I do have Kvitova winning this match. Winning the tournament. <coughs> Excuse me. Ten minutes on the clock for this game. Good serve. Good backhand. Backhand from Muguruza. Now into the forehand of Muguruza. Oh, it's just in. Forehand again. Great shots and depth. Muguruza. Misses it. It's wide. A massive hold for Kavitova. Saves the match points. And we're going to tie break. Come on, Kavitova. Yes, it's a... Yes, it's a... Yes, it's a COVID over. Yes, it's a. Yes, it's a. Yes, it's a. COVID over. Tie break time. <laughs> And surprisingly, they've both got good tiebreak records. Muguruza, wow. five wins, two losses. Kvitova, 11 wins, six losses. So pretty even tiebreak records. Kvitova may be the better of the two because she's played more. She's done it over more matches. Surprise, surprise. Medvedev, Kyrgios. Midnight. <laughs> you didn't know that. That's the point. It was pretty much, it was either going to be midnight or the one after. That's why I said it will be after midnight. All the best matches are. What's the other times? Well, early, like five or four in the afternoon. Well, what other matches? Mutet Rude. Tell Rude. us the times. Mutet Rude, Zangoff. What time? They're the early ones on well, uh, what Ash. Time? Well, it would be starts at five, second match after that. Okay. Jabur on after Medvedev Kyrgios. Need to add some buttons as well for Ham and Ben. Why? What's he missing? Rublev Chapo. Okay. And there we go. Third set tie break. Muguruza leading one love. Kvitova to serve. We're on serve in the tie break. What's everybody's prediction? I think I kind of want Muguruza now for my year end. Forget the bracket. 7 5 Kvitova, I'm going. Oh, mate. It's a win win for me, to be fair. Kvitova for the bracket. Muguruza for my prediction. What's more important? I guess the prediction because it's so far off. <laughs> so maybe <laughs> Muguruza to win 7-4. Because <laughs> that will really help me, man. I mean, if she, if, she finishes the... se if she finishes sixth overall she has to win the in whole the rankings, tournament. then that's not too bad. She thinks she's going to win the whole tournament. No, but she can gain a lot of points, mate, just winning this one match. Yeah, but she needs to win it to get like really up there. I don't need her to be up there. Just inside the top 10 will do. I'm not having well, a Kenny need... moment like you had. Well, you had the same one with Osaka. Your Osaka one was worse. It wasn't as bad as Kenny. Yeah, it was. No, it wasn't. The Osaka one, she went lower in the rankings than Kenny. No, 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 no. Yeah. Well, look where Osaka is now, so it's yeah, not no. as bad. That was after the care. one year, so that's fine. Same thing. Don't care. It's not as bad. No, it was. It was Your worse. Kenny pick is the worst pick humanly possible. I've never no. seen something so bad. Asaka you had Kenny was... as world number one. You had a soccer. Look, look how bad Kenny is now, Ben. You yeah, not good that's enough. fine. 
Your your one dropped off just as worse than what mine dropped off as number one. How are doing? She's looking good, isn't she? She's going to win the US Open. She made any second weeks this sla- in this slam year? She's injured I think all the so. time. She's terrible. <laughs> just, just Too busy with her boyfriend taking photos. She's just joining Radu Khan on the injury list. It's terrible. Are you going to pick next year? There you go. That's not okay. At least we know who you're picking. You're definitely going to Eager. Don't know. Might go whoever wins the World Tour finals. Garcia. You could go I, Garcia. <laughs> I'll just wait for who wins the World Tour finals. They tend to do really well the next year. To <laughs> she didn't win it, did she? Oh, good serve. Uh, stuff. She leads 3 2. Come on. Dulba. My world number one. Let's do this, Mugudusa. Got Ramulu in saying go Petra. We've got Marcel going for 7 5 Mugu. Jean Mugu. says it's a 10 point <laughs> tie break. Yes, Mugu. you said your score wrong, Ben. It's a 10 point tie break. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what was the, what did I say? Seven, I'll go 10 8 then. Two point different. Oh, that's ridiculous. It's going to be, it's going to be 10, 10 5 Mugu No, 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 no. She's going to 10 5 her. She'll be. Nine, she'll be eight five up, then double fault twice. Blah blah blah. Well, yeah, Ben yeah. Harriet Dart, world number one. Maybe depends how she does at the end of the year. We'll wait and see. I love your world number ones, man. Who did you your have this year? So you read, your one, your so, one was we, so far, we had Ken in, and so far, and we've Badoza. had Osaka and Muguruza. What's worse? I think Kenin's work. Well, Kenin. no, Sasaka finished below the rank, lower care, than Kenin. Kenin won the lower world than Kenin. This Look worse. what Kenin's doing now. I'm L- sorry. It doesn't Kenin matter. That wasn't, the, that, that wasn't the metric. It was by the end of the year. Yours was worse. Just admit it, mate. You were trying to be like, oh, Kenin's terrible. She finished below the rankings than Kenin. Lower. Have to have, oh, get muddled she up was, there, are you? She was lower in the rankings, mate. Listen, everyone agreed on the thing. It. it was a Just terrible pick from the, you, Yeah, I know. Yours was worse. Just accept it. <laughs> it wasn't worse. It was. It was worse. She was lower in the rankings. What's better, Mugurus or Badoza? Probably Badoza. <laughs> <laughs> not if, listen, if Mugurus wins here, it's not. What, if you Muguruza win one then, match? Yeah, because she's already surpassed Badoza in slams this year if she wins one match. <laughs> really? Yeah, she has. <laughs> She wins one match. Well, she would have gone further than Badoza did in all the other slams if she wins here today. And just like that, she's up in three problems. Three. She's not Look at her, she's not even playing. She's been on holiday. Yeah, I know. What's she doing? She's Why would you pick Badoza number one? I'm going to pick someone who just doesn't even care. Good idea. Oh, Badoza goes long. We're back on serve. Four all. The stress. Strange. Neil saying Kenin's fall off since winning the Australian Open has been worse than Radu yeah. I mean, it's got to be one of the worst picks Should I've ever seen. The French Open final as well. It's a terrible selection, that one. Well, she made two Grand Slam finals in one year. Pretty good. What is Badoza's best surface best? <laughs> don't know. We're still yet to find out. <laughs> What's Serve Carl being your Muguruza's favourite holiday destination? Do you know that one? <laughs> She's very good at the Australian Open. Oh, no. <laughs> right. She's gone long there. Kavitova here was under. I mean, Kavita was down a break, and now all of a sudden she's up a break and serving. That's what she does, mate. Two she's serves good. away. She's that good. Taking the match. Yes. See? No. She goes to 10. Jean said Africa is her favourite destination. <laughs> is it? South Africa or North? North Africa. What are you talking about? That's not a country. What are you on about? You were. Huh? You were. Oh, That's great the, yeah. serve. Kavit. Knock her out. Get her out of here. <laughs> it's match point. Match point. Come Goodbye. on, Mugu, please. Nice one. It's the Ted. Oh, shit. Nice one. And don't swear on our channel, please. Damn. We've had somebody message earlier saying, thank you for not swearing. JG comes in the stream. Terrible. 
Wait, I thought it was match point. Sorry, guys, it's not match point. It's it is not the match 10. point. It's the ten. She's got loads of time here. Well, Don't if she keeps hitting them, she doesn't. It's long. Don't worry, Muggy. You've got loads of time. Classic to call this JG seven four doesn't come into effect. <laughs> Might have saved your bacon there. Oh, it's not match point. Yeah, I know, guys. Sorry, it's Ben. Just being around him. Oh. I, I, I only, I only said it wrong a second ago and you corrected me. How did you forget already? Because you've been getting in my head about <laughs> like, Kurusa. What, what? She's so good at the slams, though. Oh, it's unlucky. Second serve, Mugurusa. Double fault, maybe. See Come on. Wow. Brilliant serve. <laughs> Brilliant. There we go. Let's prove Ben wrong. The best female Spanish player on tour right now, Garbina Mugurusa. My world number one. <laughs> she is doing well, though. She's, this tournament's she's a big, like come back to life. Yeah, we've got Eve saying, why are you so confused about the 10-point break? Uh, tie break. Ben and JG. Well, sorry, we just don't really watch tennis. Yeah. We haven't watched much this week. <laughs> <laughs> this is our first match ever. Right. If you're just joining, whack a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're bringing you loads of other matches coming up this evening. Shapo Rublev, Azarenka versus Martic. It's maybe Saba. Don't know about that one yet. Oh, Muguruza struggling with the ball toss. We oh, need an ace right now, Kel. Sun in the eyes. It's a good serve. first serve. <gasps> Vitova gets it back in play. Oh, good winner there Didn't from the Kvitova. Did it with the eyes. Great <laughs> shot. <laughs> and it's 8-5. <eight>, <laughs> Another break. <laughs> City best Tormo. David's going with as the best Spanish player. <laughs> so, All right. was a world number one. It's got to be up there as another shocker, I think. Why? Stinks that one. Where did you have a number three? So you kind of been far off my thoughts process there. Just I no. just went for a bit more out there with mine. Some never... didn't make it this I've been year. There, been there somewhere a bit more out there with my picks. You've gone for someone who was a previous world number one. A bit boring that selection. Who did you have? Did you have a soccer in your top ten? Did you have Barty? Did you have a soccer in your top ten? I don't think so. <laughs> did you? Don't know. I'm gonna have to watch her. Well, go back and have a look. I bet Radu's in yours. I bet she snuck in. No, didn't she? she didn't. <laughs> Radu snuck in yours. She did not. I had her at 80. <laughs> I had Towson. That was my terrible decision. Oh, it's out from That's Leila, it's Leila Fernandez in you. It was in yours. I had Towson. Leila must terrible. be close. She was about 14. Knocking on the door. She was knocking. No one was answering. Not a bad pick, that. Don't know. Oh, into the Eight net. Six. <laughs> she misses this one with back on serve. And the best Spanish player to ever grace the women's game could be back. Maybe. Come on, Garbina. Oh, big forehand. Oh, it's gone chop forehand there, Kavita. What's she doing? It's long. Oh. It's long. Here we go. We're back. We're back. Garbina Mugurusa. Vamos. 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 That shut him up. That has certainly shut him up. Listen, if Mugurusa can do this, he's done better than Badoza this year, and you can't say anything about it. She's done better than Badoza this year. She wins here. She done yeah, she's done better. She's done great in the slams, hasn't she? Second round Australian Open, first round defeats in the next two slams. What did okay, Bedoza, Bedoza do? Bedoza get on? Fourth round, third round, fourth round. Oh, that's poor, man. Is it? Are you sure it's that? Yeah, that's what it's. Oh, says you just here. checked. Yeah, I've got them both up. Well, how's she get on this year? But I've got to be. She's done much better at the slams. She's done terrible. <laughs> yeah, get your she, facts it, right. Listen, if she has a run here, she does better. Terrible. If she oh, has a good run. Serve. And run to the changing room and have a shower. Oh, oh, that's a shame. Into the net. Oh, match point for real this time. Come on, press it right this time. Match point. 
the crowd go wild. They want Petra to go through. It's match point, 9-7. In the sun. Sun's in her eyes. Good serve. Backhand down the middle. Tentative. Oh, Good what's shot. up from oh, It's going to go long. No. Let's go, Muguruza. Oh, it's 9-8. He stays oh. one of them. Oh, here's now the match point. Thanks now's everyone the for liking the video. Ooh. We got to a hundred. One serve. Just to get it done. Come on. Come on. Great serve. Oh, oh what a return. Muguruza. Yes, wow. come oh, great on, shot. Muguruza. What Brilliant a shot. Return. And look at that cross call. That's what my girl. Shot. That's my world number one. Look at her, <laughs> nine all. That's my world number one. Nine all. She's number one for a reason. That's incredible return. Great. Uh, gave her the eyes there down the line. Changed it up at the last second. Flicked it cross court. Gene's like, wow, what a shot. David also with a wow. And I'm Scorpio with Ole. <laughs> Come on, Ooh. Marco. I'll change the times again. She's so good, man. Oh, Ace. Man. Match point again. What a valiant effort from her, though, here. Match point. Another match point. Who did Badoza go up to this year, Ben? In where? This year, the US Open. Oh, I don't know. Oh. Did she go out? It's a shame. Match point number three. Muguruza gets to serve in. Oh, I sliced into the middle of the net. Muguruza oh saves word. another. 10 all. Why Martich. can't she get any match points? Oh, Martic. <laughs> That's a show. Good effort. Good effort. Good Martic's player. top player. She's probably going to win it, I think. What was it? Straight sets? No, three. Tough. Three real tough uh, sets. Wouldn't never, mate. At least my number one's losing to the likes of Kvitova. She might even beat her. <sighs> she might. Well, 10 all. I mean, you said I was crazy going so big as 10 8. <laughs> Here we go. Second serves in. Good return from Kvitova. It's looped up. Oh, she's going to go for it. I think. Oh, it's a bit of a miss it there from Kvitova. It worked out. Backhand to backhand. I feel that Muguruza is hitting with a bit more conviction. Muguruza good. looks good. Yeah. Kvitova, a bit more tentative, playing a bit more defense right now. Down the line. Kvitova, oh, big four. And oh, my oh. word. And a big massive ball. roar from her. She hits a winner down the line. That's world class. And it's another match point for Petra Kvitova. Match point. Listen, I know we've been joking around a lot of this stream. This is a really good match. It's ending yeah. brilliantly. The Quality's gone great. up. Yeah. Gary saying, what did I say about 10-point tie breaks? You're right, Gary. You were right all along. They what can good. we say? More drama. More time to come back. Bless you. All right. Another chance to serve. Fourth match point for Petra Kvitova here. Can she find a first serve? She can, but it's back in play. Backhand. Muguruza forehand. Down the line. Backhand. Muguruza keeps it in play. Forehand inside out. Oh. Muguruza into the net. Kvitova wins. And Muguruza out of the US Open. What a valiant effort from her, though. Garbina Muguruza. She's <laughs> not been performing very well this year. Her best performance this year. She turned so, out. Well she turned up today, and this has been her best slam of the year. I was impressed by her performance, but Kvitova did go through. And fair play to her. She's into the next round to face. Who, Ben? I don't know. Fun job. I'll find out. Fun job. <laughs> Press the button. <laughs> Okay, I'll do that. You find out. 
Come on, well done anyway. Yes, it's a, yes, it's a, yes, it's a, COVID over. Yes, it's a, yes, it's a, yes, it's a, COVID over. Wow, she will play Pagula potentially or Yuan, but Yuan has just taken the second set against Pagula in a tie break. The wow. Chinese qualifier who is absolutely taken the tournament by storm and ha- well, she lost her first set of the US Open today, but Pagula really good. Could she do the unthinkable and knock out Pagula? I mean, I don't know who she is. It's about 140th in the world, Yuan. Yeah, yeah. pretty mad. It's mad. But anyway, let's wrap this one up because we've got things to get on with. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you later on for more action. Will do. See you soon, guys.